So I'm on IG, scrolling, peeping, searching, looking at some sciencey stuff, cause you know, I'm a scientist. I came across this video talking about some real deep stuff, transhumanism, humans 2.0, vaccines for COVID, a bunch of stuff that I just wasn't ready to hear. It was late at night, the video was 20 minutes long. First 20 seconds I was like, I can't do this right now. So I went straight to the comments. Side note, I did watch the full video later, but it's not about the video. I was looking at the comments and I came across this. Voice over Johnny, would you please read? How y'all doing? My name is Johnny, but I'm not the real Johnny. I'm just a voice over Johnny. read the comment, please. Thank you. Damn, okay. We are already transhuman. We have more abilities than what's been told to us. Keep in mind that we, for most part, is only using 11% of brain capacity. If we do mind, soul, and body exercises, the pineal gland will become fully functional. And what they are offering in the matrix is already available to humans because we were born with it. The pineal gland is a targeted organ by the powers that be because they cannot enslave us. 100 praying hands, triple clap emoji. I appreciate it, voiceover Johnny. Yeah, whatever. So. When I seen this comment, I could not help it. I commented, we use 100% of our brain capacity. I was then given the clown emoji and I was called a troll. And then I noticed that the comment actually had a bunch of likes and a bunch of the replies were in favor of us using, in their case, only 11% of our brain capacity. That's when I realized I had made a crucial mistake. I had assumed that everyone already knew that we use 100% of brain capacity. And you know what happens when you assume it. You make an ass, okay, I'm not saying that. Now put everything I just said aside, real quick, new conversation. You want to know what I hate? I hate know-it-alls. Know-it-alls are the people who say, I've been through that. You didn't know that, bro? Know-it-alls are also the people who you send a meme to and they're like, I already saw that. C could you just appreciate the fact that I sent you a meme? Know-it-alls come in different shapes and sizes. For example, they could be condescending and they could also ridicule you. I had a friend who had a problem with his car and he took it to the shop. And the people at the shop said, this is an easy fix, bro. Your dad didn't teach you how to use tools. How do you think my friend felt? Amazing or shitty? He felt shitty. Okay, why am I telling you about know-it-alls? Because I never want to be one. I never want to be seen as a person that makes someone feel inadequate for simply not knowing something. At the end of the day, the way that I see it, a know-it-all is really just a closed-minded person. Me personally, I'm committed to lifelong learning and I'm wise enough to understand that if I think I know everything, I can't get anywhere. All right, now back to that comment. After I was called a troll, I decided not to respond because I had realized there was no way to respond to that comment and not come off as a know-it-all. So I'm making a video about it. Listen, here's the thing. Humans believed and still believe a lot of myths. We believe that we have to idle our car in the winter to let the engine warm up. We believe that dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. Uh, men believe that when they shave their beard, it comes back thicker, fuller, and longer. And here's the thing about that comment. That person who commented that had every right to believe that we only use, in their case, 11% of our brain capacity. That person and any person who believes any myth or simply doesn't know something deserves to be taught by unbiased, genuinely delivered information. I say all that to say, just don't be a big fat meanie when someone doesn't know anything because being a big fat meanie discourages learning. And I'm all about learning. So if you discourage that, you're gonna have to come and see me. Okay, so the answer to the question, do we use 10% of our brain or do we use 100% of our brain? I'm not gonna waste your time. We use 100% of our brain capacity. Oh, you thought I wasn't gonna bring evidence. MRIs, PET scans, CAT scans, modern day brain imagery. In these images, we see that our whole brain lights up even when we do simple tasks like sleeping, eating, walking. Think about it from a logical standpoint. Different parts of the brain do different things. So if we're only using 10% of our brain, which part of our brain is that 10% using? 10% of the temporal lobe, the frontal lobe, or, or the brain stem? And it's a little graphic, but let's say I got a gun. Bang. I shoot you in the head, and the bullet just so happens to hit the only 10% of the brain that you're using. What you gonna do now? The other 90% of your brain don't work? You SOL. Now there's one more angle I wanna tackle. I'm pretty sure this comment isn't talking about we're only using a piece of our brain and it's only a 10% piece, but I think they're thinking about the brain as a whole and we're only using 10% of its full power. Simple analogy, different parts of our brain do different things and different muscles in our body do different things for us. 
we are not only using 10% of our muscles capacity and we're also not flexing every muscle at the same exact time. Listen, I'm gonna sum this video up in five seconds. You're amazing, your brain is incredible and you can do some wonderful shit. Listen, it's okay to not know things and I'm gonna get it out of the way. Hope y'all got something out of that. <laughs>